Taiwo Lajibu team member Treasury Coverage at Axis Bank joins me to discuss activities at the FX and fixed income market. Taiwo, thank you for taking the time out to join us today. Help us understand uh, you know, the, the trends that we're seeing at the FX market. We know there is still that backlog that the CBN is trying to clear, but then we're seeing the strengthening of the Naira at the INE window. Help us understand how that is happening. Okay, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Um, so for the investors and exporters window, I mean, by and large, we have seen we haven't seen so much um, improvement in terms of um, volumes. However, most of the transactions that are being um, executed are largely from the um, exporters. For the CBN, they have actually maintained their stance of intervening for the FPIs twice a week, and we've seen that continued for the FPIs. And we hope that they would extend that to the local corporate. When they do that, we hope to see significant appreciation in the rates at the um, NAPEX window. Most times when these rates appreciate, they're always marginally, but it's usually around 411, 412 levels. Now, uh, while we've seen rates steady at both the INE window and the NAPEX uh, window, things appear to be spiraling out of control at the BDC market. Naira continue to, uh, continues to weaken there. Should we be paying attention to that market? It would, uh, would appear that the CBN isn't at this point. But what are your thoughts on that? But the parallel market, I mean, yes, we've seen a spike in, in the rates. And um, I think the market has just been volatile right now because there, there's actually not been any. So it just appears like um, the CBN is focusing more on the official market now. So a lot of a lot of happenings in that space is actually very speculative. We've seen a lot of people just try to, you know, purchase the USD at the store of value, even though they, don't, they probably don't have... Um, valid obligations to use those transactions for. So I think that maybe, I mean, in the coming um, weeks, we should we should um, expect some CBN to, you know, um, improve their intervention in the official market. Maybe that would actually impact what's happening in the, um, in the, um, in the parallel market, because right now everyone just needs the CBN to, you know, make a statement. Once they do, I think that will bring some respite into the market. But as of now, everything is just speculative, and we actually see it rising. Maybe it will just cap at maybe like 550 or so, but right now we've been seeing a lot, a lot of volatility in that space. Okay, let's move, move over to the fixed income market. Uh, the DMO is uh, set to auction 138 billion. Uh, in the, at the NTB markets today. Uh, talk to us about uh, expectations around subscription levels and the rates that we could see this time around. So about 138 billion is um, maturing today. And um, typically, I mean, the DMO rolls over and it's possible that they, they oversell depending on the subscription. So in terms of subscription levels, we actually don't see the auction being oversubscribed because the sentiments we get from the market is that um, investors are seeking higher yields, and even the the um, the one year that was actually that closed at 6.8 is currently trading at about 6.7 levels, which is actually um, which is actually a different trend from what we've seen in previous auctions where the secondary market is trading like um, 100 basis point lower than where market closed. So this option, we don't think it will be oversubscribed. Our expectation is that there will be, um, we start seeing a reversal in the yield, yield trend, given that home auctions that, that were on hold for over a month as resumed. So we've seen home auctions conducted like twice. So, I mean, that's already bringing some respite into the market. So we actually expect that the the auction may not be oversubscribed and um, the DMO will start um, increasing yields. Okay, Maybe not significantly at this auction, but there's going to be the trend is going to be different from what we've seen previously. For the 90 days and the 180 days, it's been stable at um, 2.5 and 3.5 percent respectively. So for the 180, for the one year that closed at 6.8 at the last auction, we expect it to close at maybe 6.99 or 7. But we don't expect it to be lower because the sentiment we get from market is that um, there is an expectation of higher yield, and investors are seeking to reinvest in um, higher yields. Uh, very quickly, we have less than uh, 60 seconds. So just uh, bring us up to speed on what we can expect from the bond market today. We saw bearish trading uh, yesterday. So, like as I mentioned earlier, like there's a sentiment, there's a sentiment where um, market participants are like seeking um, rates 
rate seeking a rate in chump. So the market has been bearish. I mean, for the um, for the on the run bonds, particularly on the 2036. I mean, as a last week, it was trading at 12.15, but yesterday it was trading at 12.3. For the 2050s, it was trading at 12.66, closing last week, and it has been up to 12.7. So I think market participants are looking to, you know, um, sell and in the hope to actually um, um, take positions at higher levels. And what is actually also happening in the um, bills market is also still trending to the bond market, you know, your more auction sales. So everything is, is more about the outlook. So we are getting the positive outlook. So a lot of a lot of the bearish sentiment will still continue as the week progresses. So that's what we're saying.